Life on two wheels is awesome. And you meet some of the best people on the planet when riding motorbikes. And of course, many of them will become friends who you can trust with your lives, which is pretty handy as you never know when that might actually happen. Unfortunately, there is a very small minority of prized dickheads out there too. I have been incredibly lucky to only ride with a few over the years. Three cases stand out. A guy had electrical issues. Six of us spent 40 minutes diagnosing the issue as he stood around looking clueless. We tried to jump start it. We rode back to get jumper leads. Then eventually we rode his bike out because he kept stalling it. Not a single word of thanks to anyone. On the next ride, he had problems again. Most of us just rode away. A rider with very average skills. Every straight section he would try to overtake everyone, but his cornering skills were crap, and then he would hold everyone up. I kept asking him why he did this, and he would just laugh and say, it's all good fun. One day he tried to overtake me on the inside of a narrow country road. I ended up yelling at him. His response, but it's all just good fun. Ugh, idiot. And I remember a rider who hated corner marking on our adventure rides. Even a 20 second wait for the next rider would get him really impatient. He kept arguing that corner marking wasn't needed. I kept explaining why we did need it. He kept arguing. Eventually I suggested he could do his own ride. But if he crashed badly and we couldn't see him, we wouldn't come looking for him. The next morning he left before we awoke and we never heard from him again. His attitude to horse riders was interesting too. We would slow down and ease past. His approach, fuck them. This is our track, not theirs. I must admit though, uh, I have been a dickhead in the past. Uh, I'll explain how later. So let's cover some basics. Maintain your bike regularly, especially if it's an older bike. Always have the tools and basic spare parts to fix common breakages and problems. If you don't have a required part and someone gives you theirs, buy them a replacement. I'm always stunned when a rider has a puncture, doesn't have a tube, but they take someone else's, then never buy them a new one true dickhead material. If someone helps you, just say thanks. Maybe they don't expect any thanks, but many do. We are regularly amazed at how often an unprepared rider receives help, but never says thanks. Don't be surprised when you aren't invited to more rides. Show up on time. Some riders are always late. At the very least, apologize if you have delayed the start and invent a believable reason. Be a team player on the ride. Don't try to impress everyone with your alleged riding skill. Follow the corner marking system. Don't try stupid overtaking maneuvers, aggressive riding or roosting everyone. Unless you can clearly see every rider is into that sort of shit. And finally, show some appreciation to the ride organisers. We always make a point of thanking the organiser, leader and sweep rider. <laughs> Especially the sweep rider. They eat everyone's oh, wow. dust and often they carry extra tools and parts for the idiots who don't bring theirs. A huge problem with being a dickhead is that it often comes with a complete lack of self-awareness. Most riders won't tell you you're a dickhead, you just won't be invited back. If this happens to you a lot, then see if you can spot any patterns. I should also point out there are no problems if dickheads ride together. If you aren't a team player, you hate motorbike maintenance or being prepared, you can always find similar people and just stay with them, for better or worse. Okay, uh, time for me to admit my dickhead moments. Years ago, I simply never maintained my XR400. The badly rusted chain broke, 
and the other guys were shocked at my lack of maintenance. It ruined the ride as they had to ride back to base in order to rescue my Honda. So embarrassing. I kept apologising, but I was never invited back. I don't blame them. I started proper maintenance after that. Next, in my 30s, I loved faster riding. But on this group ride, I kept overtaking everyone, <laughs> including the leader. He had to keep chasing me down and drag me back to where the group was waiting. It happened four times before I finally got the message and I apologised. Surprise, surprise, I was never invited back. And finally, again, this was a long time ago, but I never carried tubes or puncture repair gear, and I didn't know how to take a tire off. Thankfully, another rider fixed it all, but he was rolling his eyes at my lack of preparation and inability. Humiliating. I was always prepared after that. What about you? Ever had idiot moments yourself? Have you ridden with idiots? Did you ball them out or just never invited them back again? Let's hear your stories.